Now, in order to configure Appium, you need to visit the website that is appium.io. Now, Appium is uh, available. The installation can be done in two ways. One is installing the Appium GUI. The other one is installing it through uh, a node program uh, that is node package manager. This is basically a command line server, right? So Appium, in order to install it, we're gonna do both the installation, right? First, we're gonna get started with GUI and then we will be installing this node package manager. Now, in order to install this node package manager, you need to have uh, the node.js program as in uh, the exe file. So this will gonna look at how we can download and configure it, right? But before that, uh, we're gonna install the GUI part. So GUI, you will be downloading it uh, directly from here. Once you download it, it uh, will gonna come like this, Appium Desktop, this is the latest one. So I'll double click on it and uh, do the fresh installation. So again, this file is somewhere around 147 MB, right? Okay, so only for me, you can uh, choose uh, for uh, access to all users or only to the current user. So I'm doing it for current user only. Install, click on next. Again, it may take a few minutes to do the installation. So I'm going to pause the video and uh, we'll resume it once uh, it is almost uh, done with the installation. So it is uh, almost done. It took somewhere around uh, five uh, minutes and still uh, it is like configuring so many folders. Okay, so the installation is completed and now let's click on finish and run RPM. Okay, so it's a heavy configuration. It's taking uh, quite time, so just be patient. And uh, here is your latest Appium server 1.9.1, right? So uh, you can click on start server and uh, you can see the server started. There are so many features over here. We're gonna talk about all these features one by one. We can stop the server, close the logs. There are some configuration that can be done this is uh, actually showing your android home path we have already configured it right that's the reason we are able to see it right so this these this is a host this is your local host where the services will be started uh, the port by default is 4723 right there are other uh, options as well we're going to talk about uh, these options in upcoming lectures but uh, to get started the only thing you need to do is click on start server and if everything is configured properly you're gonna see uh, that uh, a welcome message over here and it is started on your local host and 4723 port right and these are uh, the raw logs that you can see over here right there's something related to APM inspector, a record and uh, play plugin, which we're gonna look uh, in our upcoming lectures. Then 
uh, you can execute uh, this also supports uh, cloud testing as well right and uh, you can check for the new version uh, about Appium we're gonna show you that Appium desktop version in is 1.8.2 and the Appium server is 1.9.1 so this is basically a node.js program which we are accessing it through a GUI application instead of accessing it through a GUI application we can uh, also run this Appium services uh, through command prompt as well right so that will gonna look in our next lecture all right